Welcome home, Rep Pack. Mark is here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest pocket sand Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO and uh, demigod of this channel did actually visit one of the air temples on her vacation last year. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Versus, baby. Camera flip. Let the battle begin. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today is gonna be an incredible day because we are gonna be doing one of our favorite series and one of your guys' favorite series. We are gonna be going thrifting. So hit the like button if you guys haven't already and leave a comment down below of just literally anything. It helps out the channel so much and will help us ever so slowly grow this channel. And I would appreciate it so much. But if you guys don't know what it is, we love doing thrifting on this store. We love doing hunting of any type to add stuff to the collection, whether it be 90s, 2000s, uh, Disney, Cartoon Network, you named all the stuff we talk about and love on this show. But we have a little series here where me and Mitchell go mano y mano in verses. And today I plan to be the, I don't even know what that means, mano y mano, to be honest, but I'm gonna be the top mano. I assume it's man and man. Well, I'm gonna be the top mon. And currently I have the lead with a freaking grand total of three wins. You act like you're so far ahead if I won. <laughs> okay, Mitchell's three, it's three two. The score is, score is three two. There's a comeback. That one victory ahead is the strongest victory ahead it could be. Because <laughs> today I'm gonna destroy you. How this works is we spin our wheel here, the wheel of fictionality, and whatever it lands on, that is the topic that we are going to be hunting for at the thrift store. For in this case, it's video games, being Sonic, Mario, anything nostalgic that we grew up on, that is what the person has to look for. They can grab other stuff on the wheel, but their main focus is that. And you guys decide in the comments who did a better job of covering their topic based off of their overall haul. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and spin that wheel, baby. All right, three, two, one, hit it! Something what do we got? Good, what do we got? What do we got? Something good, something good. All encompassing, <laughs> please. Cartoon oh. Network. Cartoon Network. That's not a bad one. But it's a rough one. It's a hard one. It is a hard category for sure. Cartoon Network stuff, you guys know how it is. Sometimes you get lucky and yeah, you find some good stuff, but usually it's not a lot of it. But we, I think what, I think the audience knows as well too, when you get those rough categories, you kind of get a little bit of extra points when you do find something good. So yeah. like if you find a really good Cartoon Network item, that can get you some huge audience points just for the fact of finding that, you know? I'm, ex I'm excited though to see if they can find anything cool. I, oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and I'm excited to get something good, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. As soon as you rolled that, I was just worried about myself. I was like, okay, what am I gonna get? That's the real question here. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's do Something it. harder like Nick Jr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nick Jr. All right, so I'm looking for Nick Jr. The Paw Patrol collection is starting. No, I'm saying that. Yeah, uh, so anything that is a Blue's Clues, Paw Patrol, um, Dora. Dora the Explorer, Backyard Again. I mean, there's a few different things I can look for. Uh, this should be interesting for sure. So I'm going to be looking for that stuff. You're going to be looking for Cartoon Network. And of course, we can look for anything outside of these categories in order to get some bonus points. But we can only look for our specific category at both stores. And of course, those are the ones that add up for the most points in helping you win this episode of Versus. So you guys decide, as always, who won this episode. Without any further ado, let's hop in the car and head over to our locations that we typically go to because, you know, they got a good variety of stuff. And hopefully, 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 Moose and Z open that door for me and I'll know it's a good day for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are in the car right now. I'm revving up the ocean, man. Because we get to decide which store we're going to. And I think we're both gonna probably, unless you're gonna pick like Goodwill, which we know is gonna suck. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna pick which store we want to go to. But there is two locations that we typically go to, but one of them is a little bit bigger than the others. So we're gonna decide who gets to pick which store. Last time what we did is whoever grabbed the ocean man's hand, actually was the person who got to choose first. I sung the song and you guys said it was rigged, that oh, Marcus knew <laughs> what it, when it was gonna happen because he was the one singing it in a longer, more formatted comment. But today, Mitchell is gonna sing the song, okay? So that way he has the advantage and we'll see who wins, the Ocean Man, all right? Ocean Man, Ocean Man, take me by the hand. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I got that ocean hand. I am going to pick the bigger location. All right, all right. I have faith because I feel like I see more Nick Jr. stuff at that one. I'm gonna go for the bigger location. He's gonna go for the smaller one. But again, that smaller store can sometimes be more potent. Or just has like very random grails for no reason. Yeah, so ultimately we have about the same chance, but the bigger aspect of being able to go first is that you're going to your store earlier. So hopefully that means that there's gonna be less stuff picked through rather than getting there later. But they also have both these locations bring stuff out throughout the day. So it might help you being a little later too. So it's all up to fate and our skill with keen eyes to find what we're looking for. Let's head over to the first location. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, it's said there. Okay, we are in here. I'm, I don't know if I picked the right one. This super it is busy. There's only one shopping cart. There was one shopping cart. Thank God we got it. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna start with the toys, plushies, stuff like that. We'll usually find the goods. And my goal is Nick Jr. So let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start looking right now. So again, Mitchell can grab anything Cartoon Network. It sees it as well too, but I'm gonna start here with this little bin here and hopefully- Get that, I guess. Um, that's true. Honestly, you know what? That's actually true. Thank you. <laughs> so we have the Marshall here with the Valentine's Day card and it's only $2.99. We're grabbing them. That's already Nick Jr. right there. Oh, and this whole bag right here? Yeah. Dude, I told you. Papa Joe's gonna be your main thing today. I told you. There's no way I could lose this. There's four. Four Papa Joe characters in one bag. Boom. There we go. So we're gonna keep looking through. What else do we got in here? This is kind of interesting. It's like a book. But it's actually a character at the same time like a frog. What is this back here that we have a little keychain. We got nerds. Little nerds in there. We have a peep. There's a lot of candy plushies in here. We have a Raphael in this one and a Pokeball. Not bad. I'll think about this one. That's a maybe for right is now. He, he's kind of Cartoon Network. Is he? No, I think. I'm just, I mean, I guess. You know what I'm talking of, about, though? Wait a minute. Is that Jake? No. No, it looked kind of like him, though. <laughs> You remember that show, though, that had, like, the three dudes, the three superheroes? I can't oh, remember. you're talking about the Dexter, like, uh, right? Yeah. Right now. The I know it's not him, but it looks like it. That, yeah, that's the superheroes within Dexter. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, I, I found a banger here. Oh, nice. You got two Taco Bell dogs, and they're still one sealed. sealed, too. Or one of them sealed. The other one's open. But, hey, that's still pretty cool, though, for only $2.99. Did they work, though? That's hard to find out. Yeah. Doesn't sound like I'm not hearing no Taquero Taco Bell. So we have Peppa oh, in yeah, here and another Paw Patrol dog. I'm pretty sure she's in, wait, is she not in this one? So like the whole, I feel like this is some kind of cruel consequence for like, you know, having too much confidence in my victory that I'm just only gonna find Paw Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> but Paw Patrol, I'm not gonna grab too much more Paw Patrol. I can, uh, I physically can only handle, my stomach can only handle so much of it. <laughs> so I'm only gonna grab this one and I'm gonna grab the Peppa. And we have a whole bag here of Paw Patrol characters too. So I'm gonna look for stuff outside of Paw Patrol if we can get lucky on that too. Because I don't want my victory to be weighted on a strictly Paw Patrol. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't even, that's like, you know. I, I told I, you you were going to start a Paw Patrol I was collection. Sure before I even started it. <laughs> Dude, do you remember these like tiger dogs? Remember the tiger dogs? We'll put it on screen here. The little tiger, like robotic dogs. They're like classic little eyeballs. They're like, like yeah. Dude. This is a cat version of it. I love it. <laughs> he is super cute. His tail's popping out here. Who knows if he works, but for only $5, I kind of just want to try him out. I love it. This Mikey is so adorable. And he has like a little sensor on his chest. I'm wondering what he actually does. It says press. Yeah, I don't know. And it has, hey, Mikey, do you like being a turtle? It has some of the questions I guess you can ask him. So you can ask him questions too. A little button on his back. That's cool. It sounds pretty cool. Even though it is $8, it seems like it might be still cool enough to grab. I was going to grab this Mikey right here with a little slingshot on his back and has like a flashlight maybe or something but it's three dollars and if i have to pick one i think i'm gonna go with this it's one. a big one yeah let's we'll go with that one and honestly we didn't grab too many bags that were a mystery so we're just gonna keep looking around here and again if we find anything for either of us we'll let you guys know first Okay, here we go. I was gonna come over here to make a joke about the fact that the only thing was this Paw Patrol helmet, but for three dollars I got a blue one. Okay, a little blues, blues to add to my Nick Jr. haul. Oh, look at that little Cartoon Network. Little Cartoon oh, come Network. on. You oh, had Grizz. to rig that. What is oh, yeah, I brought this here. I even put the tag on there. What the heck? Are you there, little Nick is Jr.? There another one? So Mitchell somehow found this random Grizz here. He's sick. 
<laughs> Look at him. What is he got an Omnitrix belt on? What is going on? Hey, you don't here? judge him. This is really cool though. I love the style of him. It's like a Russian uh, like uh, yeah, spy. it's something. <laughs> Grizz. So that is a Cartoon Network item, barely. <laughs> I got it, barely. What do you mean barely? That's all they ever showed Wee Bear Bears because on. Because you always find Wee Bear Bears, so that was like you were so yeah, you, you knew that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, Mr. Paw Patrol, Mr. Paw Patrol. Hey, look, look, look at this blue, blue right there. You see that blue right there? Yeah, that that's 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 also Nick Jr. Don't forget. <laughs> what is this? I feel like I remember playing this game, but coconut it climbing. It's like it doesn't work though, man. Yeah, they it's, don't they don't move. Where do you think you'd land? I think I would land in Primo Primeape. I don't know if I'm Great Ape yet or Top Banana. I'm all about the monkey business. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's head on to the other section of the store, guys. Okay, so now we're in the DVDs in another section where I think I should be able to just dominate if I can find anything. We have a Scooby right here, which isn't bad, with uh, Winter Wonder Dog. It's technically in my realm, yeah? Yeah, technically, yes. I mean, you can grab that if you want to, but I have three Diegos down here. Oh my gosh. Three copies of Diego. But the thing about Ooh. these discs is that they're kids' discs, and these could be absolutely obliterated. And they might even be broken. <laughs> <laughs> Kids use DVDs like essentially frisbees. So, oh, dude, that's actually not bad either. The go oh, or they just didn't like Diego. Uh, yeah, that's also a possibility. I don't really like the box on this one. This one kind of got an oh god. They're all so like man, kids are hard on stuff. They have to be hard on the outside so the discs could survive. <laughs> Seriously, like the boxes are so beat up, but the discs aren't terrible. Ugh. Maybe this one, but it's so crinkled. What is the other one? Looks like they're doing their homework on the box. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so bad. That one's they're, probably the worst. Yeah, they're all terrible. I'm going to go with this one. So at least I have one DVD, though, to add to the uh, haul here. Yeah. <laughs> And hey Mitchell, you can grab this so you don't have to open up your Master Prestige Edition. Master buy. Prestige Edition. Get a Blu-ray, extended HD, 4K one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it be known you're buying Paw Patrol. Let it be known that I'm going to forget this tomorrow. I will hit my head against my car window. We'll get there, and I will forget this ever happened. What? Yeah, two winter ones right here. Snowy. That you got to get those. I don't even think I have that one. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't really see nothing crazy, crazy. I'm always looking for Charlotte's Web 2 on DVD, but we never- I don't think I've ever seen that one. I've yeah. only seen it in a two-pack. All right, so Mitchell grabbed this one right here. We have a Lion Cub Rescue. That's a little bit better shape than this one. I mean, he doesn't have his friend with him, whoever that is. But we, <laughs> the Lion's is a way cooler topic, and I like the cover on that. We'll look at that freaking the Lion King tree back there. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to grab this one. We checked the disc already. It's good to go. Okay, so without me getting every single Paw Patrol DVD over there, I got one Dora, Rockstars, and I also got the Lion Club Rescue. So that counts for mine. But surprisingly, Mitchell got three Cartoon Network ones. Yes. We have two Scooby, and we also found this Adventure, Adventure Time, Time disc. With the disc is so sick. It's got Lumpy's Face Princess oh. on the disc. <laughs> Regular show on the inside. Really cool one. All for $1.99, I think. Yep, $1.99. Some of these might even be half off, actually. The purple, maybe? Yeah, the blues are half off. The mine are going to be half off. And then the purple and the red are new. So these aren't going to be half off, but hey, they probably wouldn't have been here. You know? Yeah. <laughs> if they were half off. So awesome little setup right there. We're both doing pretty good here. Yep. Mitchell's got the bear. Are you actually getting a surprising amount of Cartoon Network? Yeah, I thought I was going to be on the, like, the short end of the stick again. And you're not even at your store yet. Yeah. You got enough of my store, and I, you know there's going to be new Jr. at your store. Absolutely. <laughs> there we go. That's cute. It doesn't have the price on it, though. What are you here to jump here? Five dollars. Is it just me or not? Is there any staining on or anything? A little bit of stainage here, but I think that'll come out. We don't leave a sponge behind. For five dollars off, if I have to drop something else, I'll get this. I'm just looking for something really like just. We're looking for something just outstanding, you know, because we've already got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of everything in the store. We got Paw Patrol, we got freaking, what is a Diego? We got a lot. Blue. A little bit of blue. But something like, you know, like really just wild. And I was thinking backyard again, and I spotted this, but it's missing two of the little peg pieces here. They come out so easily. So, I mean, I don't, I can understand why they're gone, but maybe That's they're in the book. Probably not. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Keep looking around. All right, I found a mystery bag of books here, people. I'll add to my haul. It's only 99 cents, but we'll save that with the mystery bag since we don't really have a lot of bags. I'm gonna grab this, Marcus. This little Teen Titans Go comic. That is a free Just one, though. Bucks, though, for it. I mean, yeah, it is. A, it, there's just two of them in there. So you have two comic books in there. That is pretty cool, though. You did find a little Cartoon Network. Just here. in case, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I see you on that one. Hey, what about this, though? Boom, a little Bob the Builder. Oh. You come at, you come at me and I'll right back at you, man. <laughs> All right, a little Bob the Builder. 
way to go. Oh, you want a little trucks? Okay, you know, at some point I have to draw the line. A little blaze? At some point I have to draw the line. No, I'm not getting that. Why not? <laughs> this dude, childhood is hell. Oh, uh, with the book classic, by Max like, Simpsons, right? Yeah, I think this is early, early Matt Groening, even before The Simpsons. This is really cool. You can just tell by his artwork, though. Yeah, how much is the bag? Oh, there's no freaking price on it. If there's no price, they won't sell it to you. No. This is this had to have been it. It came right off. Five dollars. Yep, that's it. That's that's close enough. <laughs> you gonna pick it up? Yeah, heck yeah. There's three of them in there too. That is super interesting. I'm excited to check these out. Akbar and Jeff too. That is amazing, dude. Look, 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 look. You got Binky down there. You Binky got Bungo. Shiba. This is sick. Cause you can see like this character I think actually appears in The Simpsons too. Has a different like in a different form factor. <laughs> Uh, we're in here, Mitchell, so I'm gonna keep Cartoon hands, Network. I'm gonna keep my hands to myself. I can only grab Nick Jr. You can grab anything there. It doesn't have to be Cartoon Network. But, of course, that's your main thing if you're looking for. Right out the wrap, little right sponge. Yeah, you got a SpongeBob plus this is super cute. I think this is for the Sponge Out of Water movie they released this one. Adorable. S six bucks, but we're grabbing it. That's a good one. All right, so let's take a look here and see what else we got. Mitchell said he hates this baby monkey. There's I, something off about it. I personally think he's really cute. You guys let us know. What I, don't, I don't hate I just like. <laughs> Do you cute? think it's cute or not that cute? Let us know in the comments down below. I think it's kind of cute. Hey, that is sick. Oh, South Park. Uh, this might be the fractured butthole. Yeah, this giant butter statue, like sculpture right here. That is really sick, man. Hey. And only it's $4? All right. I mean, are you grabbing this one or are you buying? It seems like you wanted it. Yeah, I think you should grab it. Okay. Okay. A smart pickup. I think it's going to be way more than that, too. Hey, you said Looney Tunes count. What about Baby Daffy and Baby oh Tweety? Oh my gosh, those are so freaking adorable. The Baby Daffy, I am keeping that. That is so freaking cute. I have to have that Baby Daffy. Yeah. Unless you wanted him. Oh no, I just thought it was super cute. Yeah, that's going to your haul for sure, but he is freaking adorable. I cannot leave without yeah. that, that Daffy. All right, that's an awesome find. What in the world? Is that a Pikachu Deadpool? <laughs> Deadpool Pikachu plus. That has seen Pikachu. some better days. Yeah. Good thing he's a more Looking. Otherwise, you know, he'd be, he'd be questionably alive. Man, these plushies are ready to fall. I mean, it's very free, like, drive for the most part. Well, look, the car. Yeah. I mean, you can come over here. I mean, you can look in the board game and see if you get like that. I just find you this right here. Ooh, a little Taz. Pass. It's only a dollar, so I think it's worth it, right? Yeah. We got a little rapid recall, a little skeet shooter if you want to shoot some skeet. We got to that. Um, Ain't there's, nothing. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Unfortunately. Well, maybe I'll get lucky over here in the, the, the blankets and stuff. Yeah, I mean, your cart's looking kind of thin here, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, I'm sorry that uh, Paw Patrol and, uh, you know, Baby Shark and stuff is just no, so popular. I haven't even found that much Paw Patrol here. Oh, actually. I haven't found Paw Patrol. Yeah, yeah, it's just everywhere. Okay, maybe I haven't been looking. Oh, Paw Patrol. Patrol. Look, I mean, look at this. It's just the thing, man. It's just the luck of the draw on the wheel. I, I can't make the game's rules. Actually, I guess I can change the game's rules, but I'm not changing them now. <laughs> I don't know, that section didn't really bring a lot of results. Yeah, yeah, Unless yeah. Unless you're looking for like a Cartoon Network chandelier. Does Pokemon count? I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, you could count it maybe, but going through none of that, I, could, I got options. I could grab this if I wanted to. Oh, yeah, only a dollar ninety. What is this? The door of the explored chair. Oh my gosh. How <laughs> do you find this? <laughs> I'm grabbing that. I'm killing it, man. Ridiculous. What is it, a Blue's Clues freaking playset? Nah, it's not no Blue's Clues. <laughs> man, I got a chair I'll watch you lose in. You want a nice little uh, thing for your two liters? <laughs> you know what? Honestly, if it wasn't $500, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, check this out. A little MTV thing. Oh, that's actually really cool, yeah. They want the cooler. 20 bucks. Eh, well, I already got two SpongeBob coolers. I don't need that many. I don't even use those. I don't have that many things to cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we looked at the backpack too. Nothing that just came out swinging from mid chair. We got this right here. This don't forget, me. I got stuff at the beginning. This is me. What a bat, yeah. And this is <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. You're going to hit me with a bat with spikes. <laughs> this bat is Nick Jr. I didn't I didn't choose this. This just landed upon me. Maybe we can get lucky here in the VHSs, though. There's a lot of them, but the question is, is there anything good back here? Or anything new? Just have to wait, see if you see anything. Oh, dang banger. Oops. A chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> Real banger. I don't see nothing. Cartoon Network. Yeah, nothing or anything either really for Nick Jr. 
look at this. Hey. You are so freaking lucky. The media. No, nah, no, nah, it's paying me back. Oh my gosh. There is so much Scooby Doo. Yes, media. yes. Keep going. I mean, look at this. It just doesn't stop. There's like somebody put their whole Scooby Doo collection in here. Dude, there's three more there. Four more. That's insane. Oh my gosh. That is precise. This one? This is all Scooby. That's oh, and dude, I, we need some of these too. Let's go through them. Okay, so stage fright. We might need that one. Blue Falcon. There you go. You want a little thing for yours to fill it better. <laughs> this one we've been needing for a long time. Gourmet Ghosts. Ghouls, Fools. Don't necessarily need that one. This one is Batman Anime Series Volume 1. I don't know if you need that one. Fun three pack here. What do we have here? Where's my mummy? We need that one. Oh my gosh. There's actually so much. Shaggy Bangers. Showdown. Bangers. We need that one. Banger. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, Scooby-Doo. I think the rest of these we're good on. But you know what? I'm going to grab some of the discs, even if they're not the movie ones we need, just because, like, they're only $1.99. All right. Well, there you go. You got a nice stack right there. Now we just got to check out the disc and make sure they're okay. But, hey, man, that was that was unexpected. Oh, dude, Abracadabra do too. We need that one as well. I'm sure there's a bunch in here hiding. We got to look through them because we might be able to complain. Like, I feel like we got to be close to having all of them. Like, I've never been more, like, confident in us being, like, we're at least halfway. We're at least, well, now we're not. <laughs> I'll get them. <laughs> we're at least halfway to having every Scooby Doo movie, for sure. Oh, there's just so many bags. I have so many things, man. I, I just, it was so fortunate you only had a couple little things to carry with you. Because, man, that was. Hey, at least I got variety, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's sit on down, check out everything that I got in my haul, and then we'll be checking out Mitchell's haul. All right, you know what? You were supposed to go first, but since I already kind of, you know, alluded to me starting, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go first, okay? Yeah, so that way they can see how much greater mine is. Oops. Okay. <laughs> see how many, we'll see how many things go into your collection after this. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, so we didn't get a lot of bags, but let's start off with the bags here. A lot of them are plush bags, so we'll get all of this stuff out, and we'll check it out together. And of course, we'll go based off of some of their compared values if we think it's worth it overall. And also, we'll be comparing it to whether we know it's just valuable to us and be able to add to the collection or something we just think is really, really cool. So let's go ahead. I think that's all the bags there. Okay, so my topic was Nick Jr. We're gonna get started here with one of the first things we found, so we can just get this out the way. We have the Paw Patrol Pups. And you cannot lie, man, if I had to get something Paw Patrol, we have an absolute unit here. This is from the Paw Patrol Mighty Movie. So you have all of them in their actual like superhero costumes. I think these are like mech suits that give them power from what I saw in the trailer and maybe saw in the movie, which I didn't watch definitely. So dude, come on. That's like a whole little collection right there. An actual whole collection I mean, of Paw Patrol yeah, figures. A solid little set there. Yeah, and I mean this was, the whole bag was $4. I can assure you these were more than a dollar each. I'm pretty sure you probably bought one of these for like five dollars and we got five of them five of the paw patrol characters and one fell oh this time i think it really is a failed swoop and one failed swoop <laughs> But I gotta say, you know, if I, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of Nick Jr. shows that are on right now, and I think of the ones that are popular, I, I kind of like the Paw Patrol is one of them, because, you know, dogs are awesome, and if it gives kids a new appreciation for, you know, the pups in their life, then that's awesome. So we have this set of five here. We'll check them out and see what they go for typically, but honestly, if I were to have, like, just kind of one little representative row of Paw Patrol, like, on a little shelf in here, that might be it. You know, we have a lot of room over there with all the blue and stuff like that, so maybe I'll have to put them in a little, like, Paw Patrol cheerleader tower Hi, Okay, so some brief research we found that they, some of them could go for up to $15 to $17 new. Used, I'm thinking at least $5 each. So we have five of them. We got them basically for a dollar each. This one's $4. That one was four. It came with four. This one was one out of these four plushies in here. So that's another dollar. So it's five for all five. That's an amazing deal. I would say definitely worth it on screen. And for my Nick Jr. counter, I have one, two, three, four, five pups to add to the Nick Jr. counter. All right, and then Elson here is a Mr. Potato Head plushie. <laughs> Which I don't even think this is Mr. Potato Head. I think this is like his son. I can't remember his son's name, but this is just maybe not Mr., but just Potato Head. Potato Head Jr. Potato Head Jr., perhaps. We have a little wow. pig from Aurora. Or is it a pig or a cow? I, I'm not sure. Or a cow. I'm going to say cow. It's because a cow it has, because it has horns. It has little, like, little 
minor horns here. So there we go. And then we also have, we have a whole farm in here. We got some pig chow. We got <laughs> the pig Peppa herself. And then we also have, uh, which I think this might even be Peppa's mom, but we have the pig right here and we also have the cow. So I mean, the value on these, it doesn't really matter too much. I would say probably like less than five bucks, but this is Nick Jr. Yeah. So Nick Jr. counter. We have six now. To be honest, I didn't even realize Peppa was in this. Oh, it talks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it only makes one sound, and it kind of sounds more like a duck than a pig, but hey, you know what? I'm not gonna judge her, especially when she's helping my counter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. That is six Snick Jr. items already here. All right, let's keep this going. I wanna try out this Robo Cat here, because I think this one's gonna be a really, really good item, like overall, especially for its value, for what we got it for. That Robo Cat was $5. The real question here is, does he work? And I remember, like I said, having the robot dog, or I didn't have it, but I remember seeing the robot dog a lot as a kid. I never saw the robot cat, so I'm interested to find out if this works. So far, it looks like the batteries are okay. No corrosion. These batteries are from... They expired in 2007, so they're, they're pretty damn old. There's a little corrosion, but shout out to Energizer. These actually didn't uh, explode too much. See, if these would have been some non-name brand that we never heard of like we usually do, they probably would have been obliterated in yeah. here. <laughs> but I've, I've noticed that if you get Duracell, Energizer, some of the more main brands, they do erode and explode a little less than some of the uh, cheaper brands. They're not as cool. Oh, it went on instantly, dude. Oh, he's, he turns around. That is so freaking cute. Already, I got, I didn't even, sorry man, I didn't even get a chance to get your damn battery thing in. He's like, I've been ready to work. Since 2007. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's a powerful screwdriver there. All right. So there's a sensor right here. Oh, oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh, he's got someone on the side of his cheek. Yeah, a little sensor here too. So you can pet his cheek. Oh, and he goes that direction. His ear moves up That's and down. Cool. His paws move too. And I don't know if you can tell, but his eyes are actually lit up as well. Yeah, they're like little uh, LEDs. Oh, his tail wags, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really like, the full thing is animatronic. He turns, his tail moves, his arms move, his ears. That is sweet. Okay, so it is on it. So it turns out, so it's randomized. When you buy the product, you can be a female or a male. I think ours is a male because apparently if it's a female, it'll have three dots above its eyes for eyelashes. Oh. And if it's a male, it'll just have like, you know, just regular eyes. So right now, his face with these eyes like this, that means he is sad because he hasn't had had enough attention, which, you know, is, is fair. He's been in, in somebody's closet probably for the last, you know, <laughs> almost 20 years. <laughs> so I, I can understand that. He doesn't I can... look sad though, he looks happy. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're not gonna make him look too sad. It's a kid's toy. And apparently he makes songs. I don't know how to make him do a song though. Give us music. Like a hard eye, see, he's happy. Now he's happy, but only for a moment. It only lasts so long. <laughs> He's very cute, but apparently also he should have come with a, a mouse remote. So the mouse remote would give him a couple more abilities, but we don't have that. But I guess from what I saw online, it's pretty common for the mouse remote to get lost. But there is, this is from the same line that came with that robotic dog. So I already think this guy is awesome. And if you love like nostalgia, this is a really cool like shelf piece, you know, like that has yeah. such a 2000s vibe to it. I, little cyborg cat. Yeah, I couldn't leave him behind. You know, you have your eye dog there, you know, this <laughs> guy, you got a little representation of all those early uh, animatronics. And oh, as far as value goes, I already think personally $4 is worth it. Yeah, just for the fun of it. Yeah, there's a little reset button on the back of his head too. So maybe that could reset his trauma and he could be not <laughs> sad. <laughs> If only we all had a little reset button in the back of our head. All right, so here's a listing of what this one sold for over $20. He's though. happy up there too. He wasn't happy up there too. Look, he's still sad. He's, he's on eBay. You're getting rid of him. If anime has told me anything, when the eyes are like this, that means they're happy. <laughs> well, if Tiger Electronics told me anything, <laughs> I mean sad in their manual. But anyway, guys, you guys let me know if you guys had one of these animatronics as a kid. I think that's already worth it. We got it worth it on the overall value, but even to me, I think it was worth it from the start. So, I know they're worth it on screen, but you know what? He, he's not on Nick Jr., but he should have had his own show. Next little uh, robotic one, I, I guess we could say, is this one. I am really excited for this one, because he is so cute. I hope he stands, because it doesn't seem like he's standing. Is he like stuck like this? I mean, probably. He looks like he's forest squatting. I guess maybe he's supposed to be like a baby and just sitting like that. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's go ahead and turn him on real quick here. So here is the Mikey's batteries. These are from 2016. Those batteries were from 2007, and they were still had less corrosion. So yeah. I think if you're paying for 
anything. They're probably very similar and comparable when it comes to the battery quality, but what you might be paying for is that housing of the battery, you know? Yeah, it's like, okay, well, they're like $5 more, but they last. Yeah, and you might not have them do this, because this is really, really gross. But, you know, I think it should still work. I'll have to do a better job cleaning it a, a little later. But let's see if we can just get this out real quick. All right, so I think we did a good enough job here to get him working. Let's go ahead and throw the batteries in there. Kasha! Okay, okay, he's going. <laughs> Booyah. Kasha. So you could actually talk to him. Michelangelo, tell me the future. Better ask Splinter. You don't know the future. You're no psychic. Hey, Mikey, Mikey can you tell me a secret? Rats is totally scared of cockroaches. <laughs> it's a fair phobia. Crocodiles <laughs> yeah, are pretty freaking scary. Especially when they fly. <laughs> Especially when they fly and they're like this freaking big. <laughs> or they hiss. They hiss hissing cockroaches. Any type of insect that can make a noise at me, I'm fearful of. Well, you'd hate tarantulas, they is too. I hate crickets too. Those things are bad luck if you squish them on accident. Yep, this cricket's a lucky one. Michelangelo, are you hungry? <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> oh my god. He's kind of amazing. You ever just want a little, little thing to troll you and mess around with? That's pretty funny. This is sick, right? Blah, blah, blah. That's all I heard to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. My only, like, problem is I wish he could just stand up, like, normally. But it is still pretty cool that he just sits there like that, chilling. He's so cute. He's like a little, you know, child-sized Michelangelo. You this is probably... Line. Yeah, this might be one of my favorite, like, along with the Michelangelo, Angelo on the skateboard. This might be one of my favorite like items we found in the wild. This is so cool. Like the fact that it's interactive. He's really cute. He can just kind of sit there on display. Really cool item. So that's a that's a ten out of ten for me. He was seven ninety eight dollars. Yeah. He was eight dollars. But I don't really care if he's worth it or not on the value scale because no. to me. <laughs> I don't care whether he's worth it or not on the value scale because for me I'm gonna add this to the collection and this is just really cool. It goes for $12 but to me like that is just too cool. Like I love collecting Mikey because he fits in with the room so well. Like the green and the orange match perfectly so as we keep growing the Mikey collection he's just gonna meld in so well and this is a really cool shelf piece. So I say worth it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and he's so, he's so snarky. <laughs> I love that about him too. All right, so that's not Nick Jr., but you know, it's still an awesome item to kind of count onto our, uh, you know, our overall haul here. Everything's kind of like remotely the same size. So, and they're like mostly all sitting. Yeah, right? All right, let's see what next we got here. Okay, so next back here, Mitchell actually spotted this one. We actually have the burger cat. So when we did the plush roulette, we found the fry cat and he was just randomly expensive. So we grabbed burger cat because he seemed interesting yeah uh, pineapple pizza <laughs> pineapple pizza blanket that goes with the burger cat i'm assuming or maybe it's just random but we also have this dog which i cannot remember what movie this is from but this is a disney dog as well too so we'll look into her as well we have a random thai flamingo bird thing and then we have this dog and her nails are made out of like a rubber don't like that yeah, that just doesn't say, let's put this somewhere. That says, put you back in the bag and you hope that nothing contaminated anything else. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at these two here. I'm interested what, if you guys know what movie this dog is from, let us know in the comments right now and we'll see who is the Disney geniuses because I, I can't call her exactly. All right, <laughs> so we have the burger cat and this girl, she is only worth like $8 even on a good day with her collar, but she is from Lady and the Tramp. So really cool. I We were sitting here and Mitchell mentioned maybe like she looks like Lady from Lady in the Tram. And I was like, I feel like she might be from that movie though. Yeah. Definitely not Lady, but similar. I love how her ears are kind of like the almost like little bobbleheads. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute. And then Burger Cat, all hell Burger Cat in the <laughs> chat. Last time it was all hell Fry Cat. Hey man, all we need is a, is a soda cat. And we got a combo. All right, we have Burger Cat, Fry Cat. Let's get that Soda Cat. This little cat goes for about $30. I don't know who would pay so much money for just some random thing that they're gonna put on a shelf that makes no sense to most people. You know, weirdos. <laughs> this is a Krabby Patty cat, I would get it. <laughs> but of course, you know, somebody obviously probably collects these. This is so awesome. I, I think he is adorable, especially if you're a cat person. I mean, if you like cats and you like burgers, you can't get much better than that. I would eat this. <laughs> like if they made this a real product where this is like a little biscuit you can pull off and then you have a burger in there, like, oh man, somebody could open up a cat food restaurant. 
that allows cats and they can also have cat food in your cat food restaurant but also has food shaped like cats and the not made of cats not made of cats <laughs> <laughs> of course none of the time all right so random burger cat worth it uh it wouldn't have been worth it if it wasn't for burger cat actually because that bag was four dollars this one's only like six dollars and you know not in the best shape so burger cat kind of made it worth <laughs> it okay next one i'm really interested in this is matt groaning like some of his early comic books so i love you know i love the simpsons but i have not read any of matt groaning's like early stuff but i'm familiar with it enough to have recognized it when i saw it and i'm also such a matt groaning they're really big there but the art style is very distinguishable so you have childhood is hell the road is hell and akbar and jeff's guide to life so i mean matt groaning must have had it rough <laughs> you know, childhood is hell so i think this is the same character probably when he was a kid versus now and he's got the little pink car there as well so let's go ahead and uh take a look here at some of the early uh the comics so they're very like kind of simmons they're kind of like a satire on everyday life and these are kind of like that maybe a little bit more nihilistic than the simpsons is being that it's like a family show so we have uh you know just kind of little comics that kind of blip everything so it's probably like a holiday one has all these presents everywhere him sitting his dad sitting on the couch the the bunny here kind of looks like marge i don't know if it's just me yeah but kind of looks like marge like early. The, the necklace and everything yeah yeah and then you have the the bunny here That's basically bart yeah it says <laughs> i suppose you think this will buy my affection <laughs> a whole room of freaking presents <laughs> he's like you know what i kind of was hoping that yeah <laughs> And maybe it's not too early because I think Simpsons started in 1980 something, like 1989. So this is 1992, and this has Bart right here. You can see Bart is here. It says, don't have a cow, man. Oh, okay. So he must have still been doing some of his comic work uh, as, as the show was starting, which is awesome. So, I mean, they're not necessarily super valuable even being first edition, but I just think that they're genuinely cool. So you have all three of them right there. I'd say like probably about five bucks each. We paid five bucks for all of them. So I think that was definitely still worth it. Doing pretty good here on that worth the counter. And I'm not gonna lie, I grabbed this because I saw an opportunity. He was desperate. No, I'm just kidding. I was not. I saw easy opportunity to get numbers here. 99 cents. We're not even gonna value check these. I don't even care. Like, this was just Nick Jr. numbers. We have one nature walk, two play day, three farm skidoo, and then four <laughs> rubba dub dub. Four Nick Jr. counters to add to my already total of six. I'm at 10 Nick Jr. items with those books right there. All right, so that. That's it on the bag. So let's take a look here at some of my main items here. So let's get a Nick Jr. item out here. We have the Blue's Clues helmet. Probably not gonna fit me, but <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, it's kind of new. Like this kid must have never hit taken any big hits. Or, or used it at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like their dad actually did continue to hold the handlebars. I'm like my dad, so just let me go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> let me fly adrift. But it's a Schwinn bicycle helmet and it's for Blue's Clue in you. So it's not super vintage, but it's a Blue's Clues item. Items. We're at item number 11 for Blue's Clues for Nick Jr. being uh, $3 as well. Oh yeah, and then for those adults, there is some I don't think, I still can't fit it. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy, they retailed for $30. Twenty to thirty dollars. So I'm thinking, and not very used, like literally maybe used one time. I'm gonna say probably at least five bucks. But the fact is, my goal today was Nick Jr. So I think on any other day, maybe not worth it. But because my goal was Nick Jr. today, I think worth it. Fair enough. I mean, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's it's. If it was used, no. <laughs> yeah. So solid little helmet there for Blue's Clues. And you know, since it's Nick Jr. today, a, a unique and interesting item to add to that haul. You said you want a Paw Patrol, right? So boom. Uh we have this giant size Marshall. So I actually remember when these were still in the store, I have a Blue's Clues plushie that you can't really see right now, but he's up in the rafters of the room here. And during the time that that Blue's Clues plushie came out, I saw this Marshall on the shelf. So I'd say this is probably like maybe 2022, 2021 at the most. But you have to admit, he's adorable. You know, whether you like Paw Patrol or not, you gotta love dogs. Who doesn't love dogs? So it's basically just a Dalmatian with a fireman's helmet on and the little love heart right here. He's cute. You know, that's the thing I like about Paw Patrol is that even if you don't necessarily have any interest in the show, they're adorable puppies. So we have Marshall right there. He's got the Nickelodeon logo there, of course, too. And the, yeah, 2021. So this adds another number 12 to my Nick Jr. counter. And we paid $2.99. Oh, $2.99. $2.99. Okay. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. It says the wrong show. So let me show you what he goes for. It, it, it's not that much, but... I still think he's worth it. <laughs> Three dollars for a plushie of this size? Come on. You know he's cute, Mitchell. Say no to that face. No. 
I'm just wow, that is savage. <laughs> okay, so next up here we have this, which is the very, very cute Sully Alien Remix. So again, these are the aliens from Toy Story, the iconic ones from the claw machine. But they're in little costumes. In this one's case, it is Sully. And that's like an actual little hoodie here. I don't think the rest of it... Oh, <laughs> good to get a helmet on. <laughs> but the rest of it is not, but his head actually is like its own individual piece. That's cool. So it gives it a little bit of like an effect of actually having like a costume on. And this was a limited release, but I mean, I, I feel like all of this stuff was limited release because it didn't last long. Yeah. You know, the Alien true. Remix stuff did not stay on the shelves for very long. It was $5 though, so this might barely pass as worth it. I mean, that one doesn't have a tag on it, but there's also another one that's like with his mouth open. Like, I, I feel like one was enough. Yeah, <laughs> but nonetheless. This was, I don't know, I, I almost would say for $5, this might be a draw. Because did, that one didn't have the tag on it. This one does. But I think if we go for worth it, we're barely scratching that surface. So I'm going to go ahead and say probably a draw on this one. But to me, I think it's worth it. So I'm going to use that card again, and I'm going to count it as worth it. On screen, oh, it's another God. worth it item. All right, so man, I got variety. I got Paw Patrol. I got Blue. I got Paw Peppa. Patrol. Okay, and now we got a little Bob. So we got Bob the Builder. Necessary. This yeah. counts as Bob the Builder. Bob's a white Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but if it ain't Nickelodeon branded, it is. Does that count? But that's not fair. What? I seen on Nick Jr. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck it. Suck eggs. <laughs> we have. Bob's Christmas here. So basically it's just like one of those books where it just kind of plays the episode with screenshots and just kind of summarizes <laughs> it with text. Can we trim it? Yes, we can. So they're actually going to be making um, a, I think Jennifer Lopez is going to be directing it. They're going to be making a Bob the Builder. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Lopez is directing, I'm pretty sure, or producing a Bob the Builder live action movie. That is something I don't think we needed. And not anything anybody expected. But it's going to be <laughs> from uh, from a Hispanic perspective. So Oh, so just why not make Manny? He doesn't got the, he doesn't got the star power. <laughs> he doesn't got the star power that Bob the Builder is. But you're right. Like why if you're making a Hispanic version of Bob the Builder to make a Bob the Builder live action with like Hispanic twist, that's fine. But we have Handy Manny. You're right. Like that is literally basically Bob, but Hispanic. So I don't know why they didn't make a Handy Manny movie. Maybe they couldn't get the deal with Disney. This is Nickelodeon, so they're like, okay. So they're doing Bob the Builder. But I agree. That's a good point. Handy Manny could have just been the character, but. You know what? Nobody ever asked Handy Manny if he can fix it. That's true. They asked Bob. <laughs> <laughs> si se puede. So a really cute book, and that added some variety to my haul. Nick Jr., we're at number 13, baby. Yeah. <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby. That's my thing for today, baby. All right, next up here we have, oh, you thought, oh, I left door out? No, I didn't. I didn't. I saw the chair. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Don't think I left door out. We can't talk about Nick Jr. without talking about the crown queen of Nick Jr. herself, Dora the Explorer. I got freaking Dora Rocks. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> just Dora Rocks. I was trying to read what that says, but it's just the same thing in Spanish. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. And then we also have Lion Cub Rescue. So we got Dora and Diego. Two DVDs for them. We got, what is that, 14, 15 Nick Jr. items right there. And like I said, let's just make this a simple number. 15 right here with the Nick Jr. chair. There we go. <laughs> Dude, you can't say I didn't get variety. I got a helmet. I have DVDs. I have books. I have plush. I have a chair. A piece of furniture. <laughs> that has the tiniest little slim thing of it. <laughs> it was enough. It was enough to be Nick Jr., okay? And you know how much it was? Dos. Dos dollaros, okay? It's not dinero. <laughs> Just... I don't know what it is, but it's, it's dos. There's two of them. Two dollars. All right. <laughs> so I... Win. I yeah, think. they didn't even go. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be 15, man. That's what do you mean? That's a huge number, and I got it's a chair, Mitchell. So it's a chair. Are you gonna use it every day of my life? <laughs> You're gonna have to. <laughs> every day of my life, I'm gonna use this chair <laughs> to make it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. All right, so hey, you know, let's just finish this up while Mitchell's still standing. Right now, he's <laughs> he's ready to fall, <laughs> and I'm gonna. 
push them over, these last couple items. So, you know what? I didn't want to get only Nick Jr., so I, I decided to diversify, to variety. So right here, we have a little Mikey. So another Mikey to add to the collection here for our Michelangelo collection. These two to hanging out together in tandem. Mikey can ask himself questions. <laughs> <laughs> very cute. This is by Ty. I assume the value for this isn't very, very high because most Ty stuff isn't, but this is $4 we paid for it. I'm not going to check the value on that chair because I don't want to ruin this moment. Let's just go ahead and check out this. <laughs> Mitchell just sealed his own victory. Or sealed my Yeah, life. yeah, yeah. Mitchell just sealed his own loss. He said I had 16 Nick Jr. items. Where's the 16? You had four books. Oh yeah, I forgot them books. Alright. Yeah, I got 16. And then we have Michelangelo right here. And he actually goes for way more than I was expecting, like 15. There is a six inch one that goes for less, but I guess the bigger one is a little bit harder to find. But hey, man, this is going straight in the I collection. I haven't seen that thing. It's new to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's going straight in the collection. This one's awesome. They can have their own Titanic moment with each other. <laughs> All right. And if it wasn't good enough, you know your boy couldn't finish this hunt off without what? getting a little bit of something from us for the sponge. We have the SpongeBob full blown art level tapestry. Let's surf. <laughs> let's surf right here. Get your Johnny Lacuna Laguna vibes on with the Let's Surf blanket. Everybody reach out to your seats and you got a Johnny Kahuna Laguna blanket under your seats. Unless you're not in a chair right now. In that case, you don't have anything. But if you have a chair, those people got something. Trust me. This is awesome. That's worth it. I don't even know how much it was, but it's worth it. It's a sponge, baby. <laughs> worth it. This is my victory dance. I don't know if I, this is necessary yet. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the victory music playing right now. Because <laughs> you think you would. <laughs> Ryan has it on. It's very low. So I wish you would raise the volume on it, but it's on. <laughs> I think right. you'll be surprised. Ow! Ooh. That's ah. karma. <laughs> <laughs> you planted this piece of glass on the floor. <laughs> that, that thing's been there. <laughs> okay, I see you playing dirty now, huh? What if I rub this on your elbow? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see Mitchell's stuff. All right, go ahead and pass me your bags. I think you're underestimating how many I actually have. I will see. How much I, I mean, feel that. Okay, one of these items you bought personally, that can't add to your overall. Yes, it can. <laughs> You, you, it's like if you didn't personally buy that chair. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going in my bedroom. <laughs> How else am I gonna tie my shoes down a, a stool? <laughs> Let's start with the first store, my store here. Let's see what we got here. So at my store, it's only got two items. Sorry, look, a couple items. I got four. So we got Grizz right here, Grizz Nasty. I can't recall this episode to be honest, but maybe it's a newer episode. So there he is, you have the Grizz right there. We'll check him out overall. So he goes for about $10. You paid $4. I mean, that's pretty close then to what you would expect for use. You gonna say a draw? Let's say, wow. <laughs> As if some of the stuff you had wasn't exactly the same price. <laughs> because it's Cartoon Network, I will say that it's worth it today. Worth it on screen here for <laughs> Mitchell here, the Grizz. He is very cute. I will give you that. This is probably one of the coolest Grizz min mini so plushes we've seen so far. The problem is mini so makes so many We Bear Bear plushes that the market is just like really saturated. I think this actually comes down. Yeah, there you go. That's even cuter now. Hey, there you go. Yeah. And I think this is definitely one of the standout ones. Just kind of interesting. So I'll give you credit on that one. That was a nice find. And we also got a couple DVDs. So we have the Adventure Time DVD here. And again, we showed you guys in the store. It has that Lumpy Space Princess DVD there. And it has, you know, a regular show. That's another item in itself. No, <laughs> <laughs> These are all individual items. <laughs> it comes with 16 episodes, including a special feature, Little Did You Know. Yeah, this just sounds like a big win to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then these guys are awesome because I know for sure we don't have this one in the collection. This one I think we do, but it was just the fact that there was two winter like themed yeah. ones together. They were like, can we leave this one? Probably not. And look, it has the same speed. Snow ghost, the yeah. snow ghost is in the background of this one, and he's also back here too. He's just like like he's like first he's just a guy. Now he's like a god or something. <laughs> like, in the shadows. Are they the same disc? Is what I'm curious. They're not the same, but they're almost the same. They both have that snow ghost. Ghost. <laughs> so they're just gonna market him. <laughs> yeah, and then they have a Christmas episode. This is the Nutcracker Scooby-Doo, and then this one has Scooby-Doo's Christmas, and then this one, the only difference really the big one is the Alaskan King Coward. So there is some, two different episodes on there, but they both do have the Snow Ghost episode. So that's exactly, that's what they're gonna market him. Everybody knows him, he's a Snow Ghost, he's classic. I I think that for $2, I don't even, we don't have to even look him up. I think for $2, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, so we have, one, two, three, 
four items for Cartoon Network. Okay, so far. But I mean, variety matters. Variety matters. Scooby-Doo, Adventure Time, Blue okay. Bear. Doing some good, some good ones here. And then we have two oh, comic yeah, Teen books. Teen Titans. Here. Teen Titans comic <laughs> books. So we have two Teen Titans comics in here. We have this one, which looks like some kind of like kind of hybrid with everybody besides Starfire here. Oh, that's a sick background here. The OKKO OK ad. I wonder what's on this one then. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's Voltron. This was like this toy was like one of the toys for people that grew up in the 80s. Like, if you had this full set Voltron, you were basically the king of the yard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have this one right here, and then we have this one right here, which is them with baby Superman playing with a Batman toy. <laughs> that is that kind of amazing. Sense, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. So as far as, oh Ooh. man, this is really cool. Scooby-Doo team up right That's here. Cool. Is that a comic? Yeah, it's a comic. Like, I don't think it's a oh. DVD. I would probably have had that one by now, but maybe it is. I mean, I think it's just a comic though. It's still sick though. So we'll check out the value on these necessarily. I'm sure they're not too much being that they're really modern comics 2017, but let's take a look anyway. Okay, so they both go for like maybe together $5, which is what you paid for them. So, uh, I, you know what? I got to call whether my items are worth it or not, so I'm gonna let you do that. If you think honestly right here with the people <laughs> that this is worth it, then you can say that's worth it. It's up to you though. I think it's worth it for the counter, like the, the Cartoon Network. It's worth it for the counter, for sure. If you're talking about like collecting, um, no, I think it's a draw. Draw, okay, so draw for the overall value, but it does get counted to the counter, because they are Cartoon Network very clearly with the Cartoon Network logos on here. And I, many of you guys maybe don't know this, but how one of the things I started collecting with was Pokemon cards and comic books. I've always loved comic books so much. And seeing these books here, they really remind me of this comic book I used to read when I was a kid. It was called The Tiny Titans. Here's Tiny Titans number one on screen here. And I'm glad you picked these up because I'm gonna actually go and look for the trades for that book because those were really good. And you know, this kind of sparked my uh, inspiration to go back and read that comic book series. So I'm, I'm, I'm hyped you picked these up just to redraw that memory for myself. If you guys are interested in the Pokemon, this is very iconic. This is the look substitute. Up. So in the game, if you use the move substitute, essentially what it does is it puts this little uh, dummy Pokemon out there that the Pokemon can attack rather than you and then as soon as he wastes his attack then you can come back out and do your attack. So that actual mascot, uh, pretty much throughout all of the Pokemon history has been this little non-existent Pokemon, which the way Pokemon works, I mean, you can see so many different Pokemon that were like in small imagery and became them. Like for example, here's a shot of Misty in the Pokemon anime seeing Mega Gyarados before Mega Gyarados was even a thing. Like here's a silhouette of what is obviously a Mega Gyarados. So I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere down the line, we were to get- Something like that, yeah. Like a little Pokemon that was very similar to this, or maybe like, a, a, you know, resembles this, and that's where they got the design for the substitute Pokemon. And if it happens, you remember me calling it now. So here we go, the substitute plushie. He paid thirty dollars for it, thirty bucks. But it does go for like fifty to sixty. So it was definitely an awesome pickup, and you're not going to find it for any cheaper than that. And at this time in 2013, Pokemon did air what black and white, probably. Uh huh something like that on Cartoon Network. So technically it does count as Cartoon Network if we want to count it as that. And I guess we'll do it. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Uh, so we have, what is that? Seven, seven Cartoon Network items. Technically, he still has his tag too, so you know that's. Oh yeah, and he still has a tag too, so 2013 as well too. Like, it's not a super new plushie at all. All right, so getting to the next store we found, the first thing we went in there and we grabbed was this, and you always will get points from me when you find something with the main man yeah. on. Yeah. So the SpongeBob plushie. I mean, I think I have a couple of these in the collection, but we don't leave a sponge behind. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave this guy. I'm glad that you were able to find this guy. He's always a victory and always a great hunt when we can find anything SpongeBob. Here we go. We got two little sponges today. Yeah, two SpongeBob's, a blanket and a little uh, plush, a little freaking nap set up there. So this one came out for like, it actually, literally these plushies were on that display. Like when these came out. I remember out, that, yeah. Yeah, when these came out, they were on that display we have here in the cavern. So they're from maybe 2020, 2019. Very, very adorable. They came with a Patrick as well. And yeah, I mean, $5, I would expect they, these probably go for maybe $10. We could take a look here to be sure. I, I, I know they're probably not something substantial, but I think five, $6 is a fair price. So he goes for about $12. Not again, substantially like some kind of huge come up pickup. It's SpongeBob. Worth it. It's always a come up. <laughs> always a come up. Worth it on screen. The king. Yeah, worth it. Okay. This was probably your best items in my opinion. Yeah. We have the baby Looney Tunes. These are so freaking cute. I loved baby Looney Tunes as a kid. This is $3. When I was a kid, 
I would like, I, I hated the fact that baby Looney Tunes came on during the day. So we would be at school. And I think cause it was probably for like kids that were still like at home with their parents, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we would go to school and I would miss baby Looney Tunes. So I would record it cause I loved the show so much. And if ever I was sick, like my stomach was hurting even a little bit. Yeah. I, you know, I was like, oh, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling good. Gets thermometer, puts it by light bulb, you know, does every trick in the book to make myself stay home from school. The way you have to do it though, if you really want to stay home from school, you got to set it up, you know? That's how you get good at it. If you just wake up the next morning, oh, I don't feel good. They're like, nope, nope, I'm not buying that. You got to go to school. What you do, two days beforehand, you say like, ah, I don't know, my stomach's not feeling that good. You know, like whatever, you know, like, oh, it's just, it just feels weird. And then they're like, oh, okay, you know, maybe drink something, do this. And then, you know, the next day you go to school anyway. The day after that, a little worse. Like, ah, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like, it feels weird. Like, I, I just don't like it. Just, I feel nauseous. And then still go to school. And they're like, man, he's getting through it. And then the next day you just say, oh, I just, I don't think I can make it today. It really, it's not feeling good. I just I think I just need to stay home and like, yeah, power through this. And it's like, you know what? He did power through for two days. Let's give him this one. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the art of fibbing. <laughs> of the stay at home from school fib. <laughs> I don't recommend this. You should go to school, you know? Um, sometimes you gotta watch Baby Looney Tunes. But I would stay home from school when I was sick and I would watch Baby Looney Tunes and it was one of my favorite shows that would come on midday. They had Crypto the Super Dog, a pup named Scooby Doo, Baby Looney Tunes, and I was set until my mom got home from work. And then I had to pretend to be sick again. <laughs> <laughs> but Daffy was so freaking funny in that show. Daffy was hilarious in Baby Looney Tunes. Incorrect! You little so I need this one. And I love Tweety too. Tweety is my favorite like aesthetic character. He's you know, very SpongeBob-esque. He's super cute as well too. So these two are amazing. They have this little string on them. I think maybe they were probably to like a, a mobile. You know, the little thing that spins around your baby's head when they're like, like unconscious. If, if not, they had suction cups. Yeah, something like that. Maybe they had suction cups too, but I think maybe they went to a mobile. So there we go. These two right here, the Daffy and also the Tweety. But I, I could just use these, make a little knot on them, and you can hang them on a hook, you know, or something in the collection. There these will go. be going in the Cartoon Network variety room for sure. So the you can get all three of them for about $20. We only have Daffy and Tweety here. But in our plush roulette, we actually spotted one of the bags has Sylvester. So you would be able to have all three, at least three of them to make that 20 but I mean these are going directly into the collection these are so sweet so that is obviously another uh, worth it on screen all right these bags are starting to look a little skinny not gonna lie to you yeah yeah all right so next up we got a cat okay another I guess Cartoon Network item we have <laughs> a Tasmanian devil mug right here so yeah. I found this <laughs> okay it's like I, I didn't find you some other stuff <laughs> <laughs> we have 99 cents this jumbo size Tasmanian devil cup this is just screams the 2000s to yep. me. Taz was like the guy for the 2000s. And mug in specific. <laughs> yeah, if you went into any office building in like 1998, you could find this mug probably. Somebody <laughs> with a Tasmanian devil mug on their desk. So this is super iconic. I love it. So that's going to get uh, worth it for sure. I think what it is is that a lot of kids that grew up like in the 70s, you know, 80s, they were heavy on Looney Tunes, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of like how we have like SpongeBob mugs and SpongeBob t-shirts and stuff like that that's kind of how they probably felt a lot about a lot of this uh, Looney Tunes stuff so very very cool there <laughs> worth it on screen not much to talk about it's a mug very sweet though all right and then we have the mega load are you ready to see the mega load I don't know the mega load oh look at that there's all the sponge hidden in there <laughs> so let's check these out we have the SpongeBob disc right here again we never leave some sponge behind this is a brand new disc so let's take a look here the insert is kind of like I don't know that somebody was like, drawing or like, trying to test it up and worked on it or something and the disc is really decent i'd say some minor scratching but nothing too crazy it definitely was you know solid disc i'm grabbing our copy ours has a great disc and it also has the inserts in there it just says a note for a better uh box could be better and it has like a little guy going like this that's so, <laughs> i know my drawings <laughs> that's what that is so i mean this one's box is uh 
Probably worse. Worse. Yeah, not bad, but you know, could also could be better. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys know we're always ever adding to our DVD set, trying to get the ultimate collection here. But I can say most of SpongeBob DVDs like this one's probably going for about five, six dollars. I'm pretty in on the market on these DVDs, so I could probably do these just eyeballing them. So you pay a dollar ninety nine for that. I'd say worth it still. Um, this one is is all these are going to be worth it because we left behind the ones that we didn't need in the collection. So I'm at the point where it's very rare that I get Scooby. Do DVDs that I don't already have. So these are pretty clutch. We have Scooby Doo Stage Fright, which I may or may not have this one. I just grabbed it because I didn't want to risk it. And it's $2. And all of the discs, like all of them, the discs are like literally brand spanking new. Never been watched. Like absolutely not. Like there's no way anybody ever watched that. That is crazy clean. Yeah. And that's how all of them look. So worth it again on that one. Item number 11. Oh, item number 11. We got <laughs> Scooby Doo and the Mask of the Blue Falcon original movie. Again, I don't know know if I have this one I feel like I maybe do maybe don't you know but I don't want to be maybe do and be sad <laughs> <laughs> so I got it in case it's worth it this one I know for sure we don't have because yeah. this movie is relatively new and it's always like 15 to 20 dollars like retail new and you know I knew that eventually eventually we'd find it in the wild so I didn't want to pick it up so I got this one now finally in the collection and this is the one with Bobby Flay in it so Ooh. pretty cool uh, little uh, yeah that's Bobby Flay right there they're like an Iron Chef little set up yeah. with a mystery going on. So Celebrity Chef Bobby Flay is in a Scooby-Doo episode. Remember that. That's 13. 13. We have <laughs> Abracadabra Do, which I'm pretty sure this cover doesn't look familiar to me, so I don't think we have that one. That is another 14. item worth it. Let's see how these are adding up. <laughs> I mean, you can just add them up at the end. You just keep adding them individually. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo, Where Is My Mummy? Again, this one I could end up having, but I don't remember it exactly right now. So worth it. And then Scooby Doo, Shaggy Showdown. I know we don't have that. I have seen this movie. It's very, very good. You get to see Shaggy's uh, like almost like ancestor, I guess you could say. <laughs> and this one is, it's on HBO Max, but I'd say I don't I don't have it for sure and definitely worth it. And then this one, again, I don't, I don't even usually collect these non-like movies movie related ones, but when I see them for a cheap price, I will grab them from time to time. So since they were only $2, I decided to grab this one, Halloween Boo Clues. So that one is also worth it. So that is how many items, Mitchell? I'm gonna even count 17. each one. 17 items uh -huh. are technically Cartoon Network, but let's be real. No, no. You have 10, 10 of them are DVDs and two of them are comic books. Like you didn't have six books. But those two were DVDs. hardcover. Oh, whoa. Hardcover <laughs> books, okay? So 16 items in the Cartoon Network scale here. And your last item. Don't think there's anything extra. That's it. The last item, which was pretty cool. Yeah. I, this one was awesome. So this is Butters from Fractured Butthole. And they actually had the Mystery Man and they also Osimo. had Osimo. They had Osimo as well too. Yeah, but they, they wanted a lot for both. They Yeah, seriously. They had Osimo up there for I think 40 bucks like 39.99 and they're from kid robot and they had the mystery man for 24.99 which Osimo was still worth that actually because i think that one with a removable head goes for about 60 to 80 so it was still worth it but out of our budget and then they had the mystery man too which was 24 dollars again with everything else we got that was just way out of our budget but we found butter they missed him and put him for the cheap cheap price of yeah they put him in the <laughs> cheap bag area for 5.99 which is still an incredible deal so they, he was supposed to be over there with those other more expensive ones but he they actually ended up missing my man Butters here. So let's go ahead and check him out. But I mean, already you could tell this statue is awesome. This is Kid Robot. So it kind of looks like the Kid Robot like miniature figures almost, but just like a more jumbo size. You can see the Kid Robot branding down there. The details are really good. Has a couple little scrape marks here and there, but nothing like major at all. And I mean, he's definitely got like Dr. Doom vibes. So a huge value on that one, going from between 30 to 40 bucks. We got it for $5. So that's an amazing, amazing deal right there. Uh, uh, Probably one of the more higher valued items. Items. So there we go. A lot of the higher value items are in my haul. Well, you paid 30 bucks for this one, okay? What else was the higher value? This one, kind yeah, of. Mug. <laughs> Hey, well, I got the robot. I got freaking several plushies. I got a SpongeBob. You would have blanket. had that cat burger. If it wasn't for me. <laughs> cat burger was as expensive as this. <laughs> All right. So on that note, hey, you wouldn't have had this mug if it wasn't for me. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. So there you go, guys. That was Mitchell's very, uh, very modest haul. But I had a chair. There was a piece of furniture. <laughs> In my hall. A piece of furniture. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, as always, these videos are just for us to have fun and laugh around. So we we have a competitive energy, but at the same time, we both just wanted the video to be good for you guys, and it's just fun for us. There's no so, malice. Yeah, there's no like ill intent. We just like <laughs> memeing on each other, and you know, you know, kind of poking at each other throughout this series. So if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here. Go check out our Patreon, where you can get an extended version of this video for only two dollars a month, and it's 100% ad free. So some of those extended videos can be two, three, four, five minutes longer, even 10, 20 minutes in some cases on the Patreon. And stay tuned here, we're gonna add some of these items to the collection. But before that, you know the drill. Let's get it. Okay, so for the Mikeys, these are for sure going in the TMNT loft where our, we continue to accumulate <laughs> different TMNT items. So you can expect to see those somewhere down the line in the, the, the greater future, hopefully. Okay, and for the SpongeBob Ghost Prehistoric, we always grab these because we never know if it can be an updated version to our collection here in the cavern, but it'll probably end up over there on whatnot. And these two right here, I don't believe I have these in the collection, so I'm going to keep them, but they're gonna be going in the vault with most of my Nick Jr.'s DVDs. I do keep all of the Nick Jr. DVDs that we end up getting or end up end up circumstantially with. But in the cavern, this is again our showcase room kind of. So I only put the DVDs in here that I actually see us throwing into the DVD player. There's only so much space for them. So these guys will be going into the vault because I don't see myself throwing in Dora or Diego quite that often. Okay, and for the SpongeBob plushie, we never leave a sponge behind. You could see him over on our Whatnot streams again. And everything we do over on Whatnot, that comes right back to the channel here. And we use it directly as the budget here on Comfort Cartoons. So no matter what, it ends up adding to the collection. And this guy, he needs to be washed. So until it gets washed here, which will probably be very shortly, I have some plushies to wash as well. I'm gonna wash this guy and that'll of course be going with the blanket collection with all of our SpongeBob blankets. Okay, and for the uh, Robo Cat, I'm actually gonna be putting here in the, in the kitchen right here for right now. I have a lot of little odd, you know, uh, I guess nostalgia items that I kind of accumulate here. And for right now, I just kind of want to enjoy them. So I'm gonna put them there. Okay, so the baby Looney Tunes are coming right <laughs> here. They're kind of like, like Animaniacs, uh, Warner Brothers characters. I can't wait. We have the Sylvester in here too, so I'm gonna put him here for right now, but I wanna get the Sylvester, and there's actually a Bugs. Ooh. So I might have to go online and just buy the Bugs to go with them. I don't know how many of the ones in this size they made, but I love how small they are. They can just fit in anywhere. So that is it for this episode of Versus. You guys let us know in the comments down below who you think won this episode when it comes to variety, when it comes to, <laughs> to overall items, and their whole haul all together. I'm not saying, oh, what do you like more, Cartoon Network or Nick Jr.? Obviously, we like Cartoon Network, you know, you know, you know. But what? Who had the most, you know, covered the bases the best? Who was also getting more of it? <laughs> <laughs> In the comments down below. And if you guys haven't already, go check out Patreon, where you can sign up for only two dollars a month. You'll get an extended version of this video and every other video that I upload, including a huge back catalog of videos with a bunch of videos we've already done extended every video for literally six months now has been extended on patreon so there's so many videos you can go watch over there with so much content behind the scenes jokes and things we have to cut from the videos that you've never seen before and they're 100 ad free too so it saves you so much time on the ads as well too if you end up watching it over there it's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons or any of the channels that i upload on honestly and if you want to see us live where you might see some of the items here that we picked up today if it doesn't go in the collection there's a good chance you might see it over there on whatnot so if you haven't already go check that out that'll be down below you get 15 bucks for free when you sign up we do giveaways too so a lot of stuff you'll see us give away for absolutely free shipped to your door you don't have to even pay the shipping so go take a look and take advantage of the opportunity while it's there so down below and i'll see you guys in this video right here that i know you're gonna love and as always red pack we'll see you beautiful people thank you again so much for just watching this video and as always i'll see you guys in the next one adios and bloop